in this um, video, we, I will show you how to make a logic make logic gates. And since there are multiple type of logic gates, the one I'll cover right now is the OR logic gate. Now, the OR logic gate, um, what it does, and it's what it does is it allows it will take. Okay, so for instance, you have two buttons, you activate one, and it takes one or the other uh, to activate the door that it's connected to. Now I'll get, go ahead and get into making one. So from here, I will, assume, I will assume that you know how to make a door in this game. And that you do know how they work. If you do not know how they work, you should probably go find that out now before learning before looking at this because it will not be as easy for and it, it, it will be easy for you if you know how doors work in the first place so what we need to do is go ahead and make a normal door and just to make this easier I'll set the speed to 0 0.01 seconds so it goes faster and that's the start and then that is and then this is going to be the end Okay, that, that's where the door starts and that's where the door ends. Now, you need to have a two receivers for the door. And they need to be colored in different colors. In different colors, there. Um, they can, the receivers are number four, are the uh, four. And now you have a door that is activated by two different buttons but to turn it into a logic gate you need to have a third receipt receiver and now this is the important part this is a logic gate now to make a block into a logic gate you'd have to have the first repeat variable on 10 and the second repeat variable on one now the first variable here um, 10 is to show that's logic gate and the next one which is one is to show what type of logic gate it is and in this case it is an or logic gate and now this third repeater which is or this third um, block which is the logic gate needs to be a different color from the two receivers here now everything here is done now what we need to do next to get it to work is to make the buttons for now, you can change the buttons to look however you would wish, but for now, I will just make them look like this. Now I have a button down. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this over here to make another button. And now I will turn, I'll turn this into it doesn't matter which color, but it has to match correspond with one of these two colors here. And I will do green. And then for this one, I will choose red. And I will go ahead and turn this into a normal, just normal button. Now, again, I'm going to assume you know how to make these. That's the first position. And then this is the second position and this here is going to send off the signal I think I forgot to and this is going to send off the signal to that green block and it's going to go through this logic gate and block and then open the door and then over here I am going to Turn, go and turn this into a button. One. And this is going to be a one from start position from the door. Speed is 0.01 seconds. And this is going to be the end position for it. Transparency negative 500. And now I'm going to go and make sure everything's in the correct spot. So that's the start position, end position. Get blocked at send signal, start position. 
in position and uh, block that sends a signal. Okay, so now these two ones are done. You can go ahead and connect, you can go ahead and uh, group these, which you do a shift, you hold down shift and you then press a G after highlighting everything. And you go here, and you would want to, I'll make sure all these are okay real quick. Four, to take in signals, and then it's 10. Okay. And I can show you this is. And then I'll group all of these together. And then to go and connect all of these, I'll do exclamation mark WC, which stands for wire connection. So I'll connect them all as a wire. Now, how it works is I press this button and act, and it will send a signal from this to this, and it will go through the logic gate and go into the door where it'll open it. And I can have either of them activated. And it will open. It can be both or just one. And then how it works, red one, the red one will send a signal to this red block, and then the, the red block will send a signal to this block here, and it will make, and it will cause the door to open if it's, if it's activated or not. That was how you make a or logic game. Thank you for watching. We'll, I'll, uh, and I'll do the other logic gates eventually. Okay, now I will show you how to make a AND logic gate. How an AND logic gate w works is it will take in, it, ne it, w it needs two signals to send an ON signal. It needs two ON signals to send one ON signal in, uh, through. So it, pretty much, it will need this signal and this signal. To, to activate it. So now I still have it currently, still have it set on OR, so I, I would want to ungroup these, I want to ungroup everything, and turn this into a, into the second repeat, which is the, which signifies as the AND door, and then I would want to turn these back into buttons, Turn them back in. Turn, want to turn them back into buttons. Actually. No, not yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. Turn these. And then next mission mark WC. And wire two connections on this. Will not work or this will not open the door and you do with this. But if I flick both of them, it will open the door. So how it works is it needs this and this to open the door instead of just one of them. Oh. What have, what's going on inside is it will send this green signal here to this green block and send it there, but it will not send one out because it does not have a red signal. Same here, except it's a red signal sending to the red block and it sends a red signal to this, but it does not have anything, so it doesn't it does not have a green signal in it yet, so it does not send out a signal. Now, this sends out a green signal, and it won't send one out because it doesn't have a red signal. Now it sends out a red signal, and it won't send one out because it doesn't have a green signal. So, oh, it opens. That's how I make an AND logic gate. Okay, and now I will tell you how to make a NOT logic gate, or an inverter. What it will do is it will invert the signal. Um, I... What I, now, the second... Um, button here is become useless, so you can remove the button and the uh, thing that takes in the signal. And now, I'm gonna group that. And and now, how it work is you would want to change this. You you would want to change this to this variable here to three, and it will turn into a not logic gate. And now. And what a not logic gate does is it will invert the signal it is given. And you want me to connect it. I'm going to get to update. Okay, so this is currently un giving up an off signal or a zero. 
and it is going to the screen and and giving it an off signal and is sending it to a to this inverter and it is turning it onto into an on signal and it will activate this door here and now if i turn this onto in, into an on signal it will send an on signal to this green one here and then it will send that on signal to the logic gate and the logic gate will turn that into a off signal and the door will be turned off so if i turn this to set this to off it will turn it will set the door to on and it says on it will turn the door to off